Hey, what's up, YouTube? I got great news. Steam has just announced that they are allowing users the ability to share their whole entire gaming collection with other users. Now, how this is going to work is you basically are allowed up to 10 devices and 5 different accounts to access a certain library. So, let's say I have a friend who's never played Skyrim, which is actually sort of a bad example because most of my friends have played Skyrim. You know, most people that I know know where Win Win um, Windhelm and Winterhold is and know what Furada means and know what know how it's like to be a Dragon Ball. Let's just say I have a really unique friend who has never experienced Skyrim. He's now able to play the game in his full entirety. The only thing that sort of sucks about this um, sharing feature is that let's say he's playing Skyrim, he's shouting people away, and I, I want to be um, put on my power armor and play Fallout 3. He's given five minutes to finish up that cave and save or buy the game. Since I'm the account holder to my library, I'm giving priority access to my library. So as soon as someone gets, um, or as soon as I start, and since I'm the account holder to my library, I'm giving priority access to my library. So as soon as I play a game, I'm the person who always gets to play while the other person gets booted within five minutes, which sort of sucks, but the one way I do see there being a workaround with this is that I'll just play offline and the person that I allow shared access to my library will just stay online. Now that's, I haven't tested that yet, um, but I do see that being a possible way to get around that whole entire one person at a time thing. And another thing that you also has to be taken into consideration is that you have to be really cautious with who you allow to play your games or you know who you share your games with because let's say they cheat or hack one of, one of the games that you share to them Steam will actually punish you as well so you need to be very cautious with just you know sharing your library just don't share it with some random person I've seen people on gaming websites saying that they're going to share their games with someone in a different time zone on, or on the other side of the planet so they can play all their games um, when the other person's sleeping and then vice versa but if I don't know someone then who knows what they can do with uh, you know the library since you don't really know them that well and another thing that also has to be um, uh, another thing with this sharing feature is that no third party games or no games that require a third party key or application to access or will be allowed to um, be used in the sharing feature but overall I'm very excited for this feature because this sort of makes PC gaming more um, like console gaming to a certain extent because you're allowed to share your games more easily with uh, friends and family so I'm happy I'm excited for this feature despite all the things that might be seen as downsides I'm still happy that they added this function to the Steam application because I am a Steam j junkie during the winter during the winter months or whatever I probably spend so much money on Steam but then you know overall I'm probably saving money because those sales and they be getting my wallet, man. But that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. And I'll probably have for the next 20 seconds my library collection. Just if you guys want to add me on Steam as a friend or whatever. So thanks for watching. See y'all later. And have a nice night.